is one of the most famous dips in the world. Who doesn't love guacamole as a traditional Mexican type dip? And it's delicious. And guess what? It only takes five minutes to prepare as I'm going to show you right now. So if depending on how many people you're serving or if you're serving yourself, you can use um, these avocados. I have three and um, you want red onion, cilantro, lemon or lime juice, some salsa, and of course your chips to enjoy. So my favorite part is to cut these um, guacamoles up or avocados up. Now I just wanted to show you a tip real quick because I learned this um, that when you buy avocados in the grocery store, if you take off the stem right here and you see that it's green and you see that it's green when it feels a little bit like, okay, it's ripe. I know it's not rotten and I know I can probably use this today or tomorrow, um, the day you buy it, it's going to be great. So that's a little trick that I found out about using avocados that if you just open it up and you see that it's green, you're good to go. So let's make sure this is good. I'm pretty sure it's good. Uh, sometimes I make guacamole before and I found out that my avocado was not good. I was really upset. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna just cut it up in half with my French knife. Hey, guess what? That looks perfect. Yum indeed. Now you do wanna take the pit out real quick Make sure you don't chop your hand off and just go into it like this. The pit is out. How fast is that? I'm just going to put that to the side right now. Okay, so another easy thing to do to cut up your avocados. Um, if, say, you're cutting up your avocados for a salad, you can slice it down the middle right here, um, not going completely into the skin of the avocado. And you can also make cubes and one out for your salad if you want to do that. Um, but since we're making guacamole, it's just easy to spoon it out. Just wanted to show you a heads up what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and spoon it out. going to do the same thing for all three. Awesome. I love cutting up, cutting, cutting up avocados. I love avocados. I literally use it all the time on salads, for breakfast with eggs, on sandwiches, by itself. Oh my gosh, so good. Ah, oh, perfect. Look how perfect that is. There's no brown spots. You don't have to worry if it's rotten. It's literally a perfect avocado to make guacamole for. So just be careful when you take out the pit. Just get your knife a little deep in there. Pop it out. And pop or take it right into your bowl. Now, another tip about avocados that I also learned is that if you want it to last in your fridge for a little bit, um, the lime juice or the lemon juice you're going to use is the best way to um, keep it fresh because you'll notice after a while if you if you have a party and you're keeping out the guacamole and you see it's gonna ugh, turning brown what in the world yeah it's turning to brown from the oxygen hitting it so in order to preserve the color and it looks fresher um, you might want to just put a little bit of uh, extra lime juice or lemon juice in it. And another tip as well, if your avocado, if you bought it um, and your avocado is not ripe enough you can, <clears throat> and you want to use it the next day, you can put it in a brown bag and that is also supposed to um, help and make it ripe faster. So just fun little tips you can use. Okay, so that's three avocados into our bowl. So you can see I'm just scooping it out super easy because it's ripe. Perfect. Now before I mash it up, <laughs> so cute. Okay, so before I mash it up, I'm going to go ahead and chop up my red onion. I'm just going to use a, a little bit of a less than half of a red onion. Again, um, you know, with, with these recipes, um, I, I, I wanted to also introduce to you that, you know, you don't have to use specific measurements with these. You also just have to feel it out and to watch how much you put in there because sometimes you can overload it as I did with the cilantro. I'll have to tell you about that. It was a big deal. The cilantro is super powerful. 
but in the meantime, as we're cutting up this red onion, I'm just going to dice it up as well. And I'm probably going to tear up here in a second because it's so powerful. It just hits your eyeballs and you're like, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, see, already doing it. All the time. It happens all the time. Oh, okay. All right, so that's probably enough chopping. Oh my God. Ah, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dump this into our avocados. Delish. Okay, so what we're doing now, while I wipe away my tears out of happiness, is I'm going to go ahead and start um, dousing the avocado with the lime, lemon juice because I want it to just stay that maintained color and um, go ahead and keep the flavors um, in there. So just, and since you have three, um, you probably want um, a half of, of, well, probably about two uh, teaspoons of the lemon juice, but you can always count it out for um, however much you want, depending on your taste priorities. So, there's, I, I honestly feel like there's no wrong way to do this because it's with your own preference. That's the beauty about cooking as well. I mean, if you want more cilantro if you want more lemon juice you know definitely so whenever I look at measurements I'm like um you know I'm definitely going to go by the measurements but I want to make it my way too so I'm not going to smash it up real quick I'm just going to stir it around with the lemon juice now this is the part I talked about earlier with the cilantro that cilantro like oh my gosh if you smell it it just hits your face it's so good it's such a fresh herb but with cilantro you don't want too much in the guacamole unless you really like it um, but most people don't want it to be overbeared with the cilantro or the guacamole because you want to taste the guacamole itself and the other ingredients that it has in there. One time I put too much cilantro in it and it did not taste the same. So heads up about that. Um, I did buy a head of this cilantro, so I'm literally, you don't need too much. Trust me. So literally just a small bundle, okay? Small bundle and chop this baby up. Literally a little bit goes a long way, honestly. So if you're gonna use this whole thing, you probably have to have like 15 avocados. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so literally I'm just gonna dice it up. I don't need too much. I can smell it already as I'm cutting this up. Literally, I mean literally, perfect. Just like that. So honestly, I don't need too much. Now salsa is just gonna get a little different flavor to it. Um, and I just literally just want maybe um, two tablespoons of it in my three guacamoles. Okay. Awesome. Any type of salsa will do. Now the next part is to smash it up with your fork. Um, now the beauty about guacamole is that it's chunky. It's not super smooth that it's like paste. That's the fun part about it because usually if it has like a pasty type effect, it's not really, you know, delicious. Or, you know, it's not the same as a chunky effect. So, you know, if you like different textures, definitely go for it. Okay, so how does that look? It looks like we might need some pepper and salt. I'm gonna get my fine sea salt that I have over here. Um, I just season it up a little bit. Pepper. I am a pepper fiend. So if you are too, join me. <laughs> I'm not going to put too much in here. So just a dash. Stir it up just a little bit. And this color is from the salsa, so don't worry. All right, so we are done with our guacamole dip of part of our Mexican recipes. Now I'm going to enjoy chips. Yum. Let's see how this turned out. Mmm. 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 Delicious, yes. <laughs> Not too overbearing with the lemon juice. 
not too overbearing with the cilantro, just give us a nice little spice to it. Super tasty, um, easy, and I'm telling you, this is pretty healthy as well. If you wanted to take a different alternative and get multi-grain chips or wheat chips and have some guacamole and enjoy it that way, you will have a great time enjoying your healthy and easy Mexican dip of guacamole.